Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe. Gamers want fun, not a green face for tokens. Any mocha subsidiary. Once blocking games can offer a similar experience to Lodge of Legend or Fortnite, they will become more popular. Argus Blowfish Studio like silly. Blocking best games need to spend more time actually being fun to play rather than developing flashy tokenomics. Nimoka brand owned blockchain game developer taught Cointelegraph. Speaking to Cointelegraph on the first day of the 2022 Tokyo Game Show, Luke Silei, the lead community manager at Australia-based game developer Blowfish Studios, said that far too many blockchain games have put the focus on in-game rewards and tokenomics rather than gameplay. You can see from a lot of other blockchain games that they are not actually fun to play. Like, yes, you have potential to earn quite a significant amount of token, and you get a good return on investment most of the time. But generally speaking, they are not the fun, right? Sile said the generally many of these games have simplistic game modes that are built around earning rather than pure enjoyment and have terror failed to grab the attention of traditional games thus far. According to data from Depdar, the most popular blockchain games in terms of active user of the past 30 days are Gameta. Alien Wars and Solitaire Blitz with 1 million users respectively the figure show significant interest in the games but pale in comparison to popular traditional games. Silly said games should primarily be fun to play and attractive to look at setting. Our kind of talk is that if it's fun to play and it's attractive to look at people want to play it. Blowfish Studios in an Australia video game developer that was acquired by a Nimoka brand for around 6 million in July 2021 as part of the acquisition. Nimoka has great Blowfish from Web2 to, to Web3 Gaming with NVT game Phantom Galaxy being the, the company main focus. Question on the type of games that would work best with non fungible tokens and play to earn integration. Sile I like to play games such as Riot, Lodge of Legend and Epic Games, Fortnite, which already have internal markets built into them. He notes the these types of games generally attack their hard funds because they are fun to play and continually update and improve the experience over time. This leads to people who play for multiple years and happily spend money to purchase products such as new character skins. Say like language of legend and fortnite with your skins and stuff like that if you can play and enjoy something for a really long time you know and then you drop it in a year or two in you don't really have much to show for it but if you do that with blocking you can potentially sell all the assets you have earned it he said Sile went on to note that there are some barriers to entry in blockchain games that may be some people of and that if the onboarding process can be ironed out this called attract new user. It's very daunting thing trying to learn about this whole new technology, creating a wallet and there are so many words in blockchain that mean completely different thing. Phantom Galaxies is an open world mecha robot, so the game expects to have an official early access launch in 2022. Its in-game NVT 
have already seen a high level of demand with more than owners of its origin collection. According to OpenSea, the project also consulted a private entity sell and estimate. Okay, maybe that's all from me. Don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe.